Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I want to talk a little bit about the election that we just had. But first, I want to thank all the candidates that ran. I know it's very difficult running for a candidate, putting yourself out. Uh, I want to congratulate those that have won. Mr. Hart, uh, Mr. Butler, uh, Mr. Phelps. I don't see Mr. Ping. And I want to thank, oh, there you go. Sorry, I didn't see you. Uh, I want to thank uh, the Vice Mayor uh, and Mr. Ori for your service. It's, it's, it's a lot to work. Because once you win the election, as the seven of you all know, your work's only begun. So I congratulate you, those of you that have won, and I thank those whose service we've had. So what message did the voters say, make with this recent election? Looking at the election, some things are easily discernible. First, the context. There was no presidential or Senate or congressional or any big issues, if you will, to drive the votes. People came out to vote for city council. That was the big driver in this election. And it was interesting, because I contacted the Board of Elections of Hamilton County, Warren County, and Claremont County, and found out there was a large number of undervotes. There were 4,600 4, voters, more than that actually, and 330, more than that, or 3,300, 3, sorry, were undervotes. People didn't like what they were voting for. That's the only conclusion you can make. They came out to vote, but they didn't all vote across the board because they didn't like the choices, they didn't like the options. So what happened with the election? Well, Mr. Butler won the most votes. He won 10 out of 11 precincts. And the question is, well, why, why did that happen? Well, looking at the handouts and the material that was given out by candidates, four of the five candidates really didn't take any specific positions in their, in their literature. <clears throat> one candidate, the one that won decisively, Mr. Butler, took four specific positions currently on issues facing the city. One, no, no annexation of the Grail. To quote his mailer, press pause on this annexation. Two, stop the parking garage. Three, no rezoning against the wishes of the citizens. Quote, we should listen to our fellow citizens, end quote. And four, explore so solutions to congestion. Quote, let Loveland breathe, end quote. Those po positions clearly resonated with the voters. Mr. Butler received 286 more votes than the second place candidate and more than 500 more votes than the fifth place candidate. And his vote percentage actually went up from his last election. The other incumbents lost percentage. Mr. Butler won all seven of Hampton County's precincts. The only precinct he lost was in Claremont County and he lost that by a total of 11 votes. Those are facts. A fair inference is that the significant majority of voters wanted specific positions contrary to the recent direction of the Loveland City Council. This election, like most elections, was a referendum on the candidates in their positions. The majority of voters did not like the slate of four candidates. Voters wanted independent thinkers, not one-size-fits-all approach advocated by a four-man block. The four ran a coordinated campaign with the open endorsement of the mayor. All exposed, espoused positions that followed the mayor in her positions. Support for the annexation, support for the parking garage, and green lighting of development. That campaign was rejected by the voters. 21.5% of the voters were for Mr. Butler, compared to an average of 16.5% of the vote for the block of four candidates. Politically speaking, that's similar to what the Bengals suffered on Sunday to the Browns. Put it another way, in a parliamentary system, this was a clear vote of no confidence in the recent decisions of the city council by the voters. Warren County has been especially negatively impacted by several recent county council decisions. And again, looking at that election, Tim Butler won Warren County by a landslide, 180 votes to an average of 51 votes for the block of four candidates. All, well, three of the candidates I know said that they would listen to Warren County voters and they would meet with Warren County voters. That's a promise that needs to be kept and we will see. All the candidates said that they would listen to the citizens of Loveland, and those citizens have spoken loud and clear. The new city council needs to re-examine where the city is going, and more importantly, where it's being led. Continuing on the recent path is counter to the will of the citizens of Loveland, as spoken in the last election. Listen to their collective voices for the betterment of Loveland. Listening to the citizens was one common thing that all the candidates said that they would do. 
Independents of Thought won this election. Running as a group did not. Percent of votes and vote totals went down for incumbents that weren't part of the group. Citizens do not want group think. They want each council member to apply independent thought to the issues. Thank you. Thank you. Ah. Now we're cooking with gas. Here we are. <laughs>